let it go funny, and usually it's running even before it says it is, and I'm just here acting just really talking. silly. And then I go... There it goes. There we go. And then there's the song. Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, I do need that. Yeah, sure do. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Here we are live once again. It must be Saturday night. Once again, we've done this before? No, this is the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first time today. No, it isn't. That's, that's a lie too, isn't it? That is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> first time we streamed live today though. Yes. And we welcome back Mr. Tim Rice. How hey, you guys, doing, Tim? Yeah, man. Good doing to be back. All right. My phone hasn't popped my top you have pop open, top you open your beer. Pop your top. <laughs> pop your top, will you? Can I get the sound? Oh, you got it. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Nice. Sounds like a song I know. Oh, well, so what do we got? We got 805. 805. I know nothing about it other than it's from California. Well, <laughs> I've had it before. I had it last night. It was very good. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Do you know anything about the brewery? No, I don't. I want in trouble. <laughs> I, had, I had a friend come over, and I've got the sticker that he left that came in the six-pack, too. So, Oh, okay. Uh, do, we, do, we need to do history on this I mean, no we really, we really don't uh, we try to make see it what, up all right make it up let's just I make like it, it up <laughs> there's a risk of birth defects <laughs> oh is that what it says no no doesn't say that 4.7 oh that's a weak oh, one. firestone walker brewing company okay and they're out at, of? i think they're out of los angeles aren't they or somewhere paso roble i have no idea what that is it's a mexican beer. does anybody know where that is <laughs> let us know if anybody's on, let us know. It's pretty good. Tastes like a lager. Oh, that's why I figured I'd give Tim a break on the IPAs because I don't give him something nice and mellow. Tim said it's not his favorite with the IPAs. No, so I actually, we do. actually, the last three or four beers that you guys have had have been awesome. And I, I usually don't drink a, a craft or an IPA, but I think it's. It's just got to be coincidence that those happen to be very good beers we had. Yeah, they were good. Because most people say, here, taste this. And I <laughs> taste it. I'm like, Bleh. hey, so far, these all have been perfect. Especially the spinning artichoke one was pretty good. Artichoke, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <clears throat> so, uh, Joey, we got some people helping us out tonight. I see. We do. We have a couple people helping us out. Over here on our, our Facebook feed and stuff. <laughs> We have Stop. Shaylin. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Jason. Jason's on. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. I'll hey, Jason. And then handling our Instagram feed is Caesar. No. Oh, I got to bring oh, you back up mute. again. You got to put him back up. Oh, we muted uh -huh. you. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were making a lot of noise <laughs> when you were putting that, that on. So. Say hello again. Hello. There you go. Oh, see, there he All is. All right. Got loud and clear now. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Jason says, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, so we've been teasing this uh, topic all week. And, well, we've been well, teasing for it for a, a long weeks. time. Yeah, for a long yeah. time. Ever since we did the first episode with uh, with Tim. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how it came up. Um, We brought it up in 202. Toward the well, end. Well, everything came up in 202. <laughs> That's true. Everything, everything did kind of stem from 202. But yeah, we, we, yeah, we can then. do 202 part A, part B, part C. <laughs> Don't say. You know, I, I watched, uh, speaking of which, I, every time I think of binary, I think about you now. So I was watching <laughs> an episode. <laughs> I was watching an episode of Ancient Aliens today. Okay. Does that have to do with bondage? No. What? Oh, never mind. No. Binary. I, no. Binary, I said. Okay. <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? So. They had him. Is that sorry. the word you're looking for? <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. Is this a family show? <laughs> Not anymore. So they did an episode that um, it was somewhere over in Europe. I can't remember. I don't remember exactly the details. Man, where these two gentlemen were in the military. They were out in a forest and a, they saw a UFO. Did you, you know the story? And the one guy was able to reach out and touch the craft right. and he visioned the, the binary message. Yes. Yes. And when they it okay. encoded it or encrypted it, whatever it was, um, it, it was talking about how they, they've been here and they're going to remain here. And it gave coordinates to some kind of underwater island, which they say is like the second Atlantis <laughs> or something along those lines. So I thought that was interesting. So when yeah, I saw it was amazing. that. Uh, one of the good things about that story is they were recording or, or either 
taking photographs or audio recording that event. I mean, you can, if you look it up, you can hear that. Um, but they shut that down very, very quickly. And those guys were, uh, complete, they were let go. They were told, you know, they were threatened, but their story is amazing. It's totally amazing. But well, they, they kept it quiet for 30 something years, <laughs> yeah. apparently. So they yeah. did a good job. If you yep. told me to stay quiet, I'd stay quiet. Stay quiet. Yeah, exactly. Well, you did stay quiet for a while. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> I don't know so. how many years it's been. <laughs> But that, yeah, I found that found that very interesting. As soon as he, as soon as they showed that page with binary, I was like, oh god, I got to think about Tim on this one. Yeah, they <laughs> so. had these. Uh, they're like hieroglyphics. They're like hieroglyphics. Raise them up a little bit. And uh, he saw them. He touched him. He felt the vibration, and right. he got all this instant knowledge. And he was able to. Uh, write it down and communicate it later and there was a whole lot of information there that was very interesting well they they put it into some kind of computer program and the right. computer deciphered it and they came out with the message from it and so it was that was binary was, code that was pretty cool because he wrote down he he said he had a vision and he got out paper and he wrote down a series of zeros and ones and zeros and ones and zero ones and he had no idea what it meant and right. then they were able to decipher it and get a huge amount of information just from the numbers he wrote down and he said it wasn't from memory it was just something he can still vision right. in, in front of him so that, that was pretty pretty fascinating i thought that was cool yeah it's a great story yeah that was very cool so I'm sorry, uh, I got off topic. Well, no, no, it, it kind of no, reminded me of the uh, uh, Barney and, and Betty Hill thing. Yeah. Because uh, she had a vision, too. She actually drew out a whole star system. Mm -hmm. that, right. Uh, she so. ended up knowing where her encounters or her entities or aliens came from. They actually let her know what star system and everything. And they've over the years, they have plotted it out, and she was correct. Huh. Pretty wild. That's pretty fascinating. It's kind crazy. Of, kind of like the Anunnaki, <laughs> which I have a fascination with. Anunnaki are incredible. It's such an incredible story, and we just, you know what, I, I, I've never heard in depth about the Anunnaki. Um, I, growing up, it was never taught. Did right. you hear about Anunnaki no, never. your whole life? Never. So it's one of the first, okay, the earth has been destroyed many times. Mm -hmm. And then it's been repopulated with humans. It's the first known written language and and uh, okay. Um, there we go. Again. Earth is destroyed. <laughs> Earth is destroyed. Is that deja vu? Yeah, well, I, I have to actually click on the thing and to be able to read all of the uh, yeah, I know. all the. I know. So then I got to turn my volume down. Hi. That's all everyone's saying. Well, who's saying hi? Who do we hi, everybody. On? Who do we have on? Your dad. You um, your dad. Lindsay. George Where'd she Washington. come from? Michelle and, and your mom, <laughs> Kathleen, Jason and John Brandon. and Wendy. Hey, guys. Hi, honey. Hello, everybody. Good My wife, Allison. Hi, Allison. So now, yeah. now I can't lie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, lie like straight. You're going to get all the truth, nothing but the truth. So, so you go back, if you go back to the Anunnaki. Pre-flood. Pre-flood. Um, they're, so how do they, here's my question. How does it tie into the epic of Gilgamesh? All right. Mesopotamia. You have the Babylonians, you have the Sumerians, ancient Samaria. They were all in on this. Um, they shared that information with them, and they weren't supposed to. Um, so I've been reading some of the, the Anunnaki information. Uh, your timeline is going to be different from everything you read. Right. Some people are saying 845,000 years ago, and some people are saying from 8,000 B.C. to 1,000 B.C. 2,000 to 1,000 is where everything got real the 2000 for a thousand years 2000 bc to 1000 bc that's where they had the interference with the um, the keepers of the stars the uh the shining ones the the alien uh, that came down and did all this stuff um there were a lot of times where they were happy with what uh okay 
there were there were seven different species of upright upright walking humans on Earth. Okay. You have Homo erectus, Homo goliacocus, Homo Homo sapiens sapien was the only one that survived. Okay. So when the Sumerians, uh, which they believe are a cross between hybrids, uh, the Anunnaki came down and bred, genetically engineered the Sumerians from the Neanderthal. So, boom, the Neanderthal was gone. So they destroyed all the different upright walking Homo species. There's a tree you can walk, you can you can look at it. Homo sapien, for some reason, was the only one that existed, even though the um, Neanderthal were much more powerful, much stronger, much bigger, yeah. and much more in control. So it had to be some sort of an intervention, which they believe that the uh, the keepers of the stars, the Anunnaki, came down and shared technology with the Sumerians. Um, they lived together for many, many, many years. Um, the, the the children that are so there's there's two different groups that came down. You had the the keeper of the stars, the children of the stars, right. and then you have the other angels, which were called angels, and they're called the fallen angels. They're the ones that kind of messed everything up for us. They're the ones that, they were the giants. They were the ones that came down and bred with the women of the earth and really, really messed things up. And so from 2000 BC to 1000 BC, that's where we had the um, influence of, uh, of hybrids where it got out of control and that's basically the kings which there were seven kings and we know them today as the seven archangels that's just a different interpretation right um they decided that there was too much blood spill on the earth because of what the fallen angels were doing so they decided to destroy the earth and that's when enoch um, well, his book was kicked out of the Bible, but Enoch talks a lot about how this all happened, and then Noah was contracted to carry out the punishment and the and the flood. Right. So, um, a lot of this happened at the same time, and if if you study it, it's it's pretty interesting. So the Sumerians aren't they the first, or the they're the oldest known oldest civilization, known civilization okay. with the first written language. Was was a uh, cuneiform, right? Cuneiform. It was, okay. it was all like, looked like little triangles. They're just like, yeah, yeah. little pokes in the clay. <laughs> and for many many years, we had no idea how to decipher it or interpret anything. And these are pre-flood existing. I right. Mean, these things were destroyed, and we have found many of these tablets. And the cuneiform is the first known written language. And that's how we know that they were the first ones experimented with, with experimented with astronomy, uh, geometry science, mathematics, um, all of the, the, the things that we, we know today, they were the first civilization that was um, introduced to all of those. Technology, really? Yeah, technology. Early technology. Yeah. Early technology. Yeah. It's Teotihuacan and Machu, Machu Picchu and all of the other places on Earth, this is pre-flood, had a technology and basically it was all destroyed. Now what we have left were the H stones, we have the blocks, we have the stones, we have a lot of things that we really don't understand so we've just passed it off as we don't know what it is. Right. So the more we we discover, the more we study the, the, uh, the Sumerians and the intervention with the Anunnaki, the more we're learning about the information that was given to them and it spread out through different parts of the world because in every culture you have a pre-flood story in every culture you have a uh, an interaction from from the heavens right. star people right. i don't know that there's a pre-flood story in south america it's pretty much over on the other side of the world it is you know and, so. <clears throat> and when they write about it they say that the earth uh, shook back and forth from right to left and side to side and this is where the first uh, information the, the first science of the procession came into about because before the 20 see the you know the processions every 26,000 mm -hmm. years or 
2,600 years. Years. All right. So they, they discovered at that time that 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 was probably the first time we had recorded knowledge of the procession. And it's very interesting. In fact, we get our constellations from that time. It goes to uh, it goes to Egypt, it goes to Greece, and it goes throughout the world. But it's basically been the same all over the world the right. way it happened. So it's it's very very interesting. Well, I know the uh, Epic of Gilgamesh because we did a little bit of research on it. It talks about the flood, mm -hmm. the great flood. So it mentions it in there, not only the Bible, but right uh, too. So that's all in that part of the and a lot the of world. the writings right, from right. the yeah. Anunnaki and the uh, the uh, the children in the star, the, the the shining ones. A lot of that information is how we how we came about with the Hebrew Bible. And there were many books of the, I think thirteen books of the Bible that were eliminated because they were too controversial. But Enoch being one of them. But if you go read Enoch, I mean it's line for line with with, you know, the Bible. It, it's just controversial and the Romans took it out. Which I understand. I don't want anybody to know what I know now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check in with our Facebook and uh, Instagram. Yeah, well, I know. Um, you guys are getting a lot of love right now. A lot of love. Oh. <laughs> love a lot of love. I know. I saw Denise was on there, and hey, Sonny. John Felt. How you Mark doing, bud? <laughs> Allison Rice. Uh, Sam says hello. Hi, Sam. <laughs> We got some Instagram people on. That's good. Yeah. So when I first brought up the Anunnaki on 2002, what did you know? 202. <laughs> 202 1.02220. <laughs> so when we started talking about the Anunnaki, what was your uh, your education level on the Anunnaki at that time? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. And that's it, it, it was even up to the last one that we did. I Because remember I said we were going to tease it a little bit. Cause, yeah. And then you would ask me. You said, what do you know? I said, I know nothing about them. <laughs> It's really hard to research it because there's so much information. Yeah. It's very it, confusing. It's true. I, I, I watched quite a few different documentaries over the past week. and Michelle wants know, to know what you guys are drinking tonight. Uh, five, or 805. 805. 805. 805. Yeah, you can interrupt us. You can just... I feel bad at her. No, just okay, yell. I'll just scream. In. I'll jump in. I'll do that. Lindsay had no problem doing that <laughs> last week. So. Sam asked, <laughs> why yelling. wouldn't the star children return or have they? Okay, it's complicated. Complexicated? <laughs> it's complexicated. <laughs> Everyone's going to use that word tomorrow. I love that word. It's in our it's in our uh, isms. Book. Isms. <laughs> okay. I don't want to blow anybody's mind here. No, we love to have our minds blown. That's fun. Okay, we still have interaction with star children. All right. It said the angels of the earth. Angels were basically the aliens. They were the, the care givers. They were the keeper of the stars, the keeper of, of, of knowledge. They're the ones that pass knowledge to us onto this planet in many different ways and many different times. Mm -hmm. And they just have a different name now. We don't call them the star people now. We call them, well, those that of those of us that acknowledge their existence, <laughs> they're called aliens. The blues, the grays, reptilians, the reptiles. See, I, I was telling Joey today, I don't like the term alien because well, you associate alien with something scary unknown. and horrific. And right, right, right. I, I think extraterrestrial is a better, a better title for it because anything not from here is considered. All right. So when I speak of the, the star so. people and the and the uh, Akhenat, Akhenat. Anunnaki? Anunnaki. Anunnaki. I keep saying, look, you I love the, the person. I, 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 I love <laughs> Anunnaki. Um, <laughs> Akhenaten. Akhenaten. And the Egyptian gods and yeah. priests and everything, Nefertiti and all that stuff, Isis. It's amazing stories. And so I get confused with Akhenaten and Akhenani. Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Just cue me when to say Anunnaki. I'll say it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes to say that. Craig I get, I get. says hello. Who? Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Jeff. Jeff? Mm -hmm. Jeff's on there? Cool. We're going to check out the beer that he told me about. Uh, so since we yesterday. have so many people on, we should probably talk about our uh, giveaway, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 We, we, 
Didn't even say anything about that. We haven't said anything about it yet tonight. We got so into the topic, we haven't said nothing about it. So for those of you that are on, if you haven't already done so, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We still have the... Uh, it's a point uh, above your head. Call it a con. Yeah. Yeah. That's right here. Right there. I'm going to wait 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for the next 25 till we hit, to hit 100, we're doing a t-shirt. Truth About Beer t-shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> And then once you're in that hunt, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just cleaning off my. <laughs> once you're in that hundred category, then we're gonna do a drawing for the zombie. The zombie gnome, gnome yes. And uh, we do need to make mention of another. Yeah, we have a new gnome table. joining us tonight. Sasquatch. Or we should call it the Mogion Monster. Let's, yeah, we'll uh, the Mogion Monster. Monster. Yeah, okay. Let's go like find it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we talked about that last week. If yeah, you guys go joined us it. last week. So. Yeah. So, so this we is have, the Mogion Monster today. So, but the closest one to today's episode would be our alien, alien abduction, abduction gnome. Which is very cool. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> so, yeah. So, go subscribe. If you guys are on right now and you haven't done so, take a minute. All you got to do is click on our link. And the subscribe button is right there in front of you. Just click it and you're good to go. Doesn't cost you anything. Except, like Tim said last week, maybe a therapist when you're done listening <laughs> yeah. to us. But <laughs> Therapy session. <laughs> yeah, we're into our second season. And uh, this is our, well, this is our third live feed. Yeah. But we just finished uh, filming our eighth episode today. 20, 208 Toy today. Yep. For this season, yeah. Mm-hmm. We did that this afternoon. We wow. had a busy day today. It has been a busy so. day. Had a lot of beer today. So that, that'll that <laughs> actually be kind of like a part two to our Roswell, kind of, because it's all New Mexico. So that'll be our investigation yeah. we did in Deming at the Adobe Deli Bar. Yeah, and we decided to quit doing the uh, the numbering of our paranormal. Yeah, we're not going to do the 1.2, 1.00, <laughs> it gets too, we have to compi- We have to continue to do it on our ghost hunting one until we finish the series, though. That's but, true, because we're going to be at the part three on that one. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> we're yeah. just confusing people left and right. Well, we, we confuse ourselves. When we try. <laughs> Every time. Tim just looks at us like he just goes back to binary. <laughs> I know more about binary code than I've ever known before. That's so funny. That's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, so go subscribe. Help us out. Need to get our numbers up there. We want to start being able to uh, go live on uh, YouTube, so we have to have a certain amount of subscribers to do that. So we're, yes. I think that's a thousand. So we're kind of far off from there, but we'll get it. We'll get it yeah. eventually. And we so. really want to thank everybody that's already subscribed. Yes, you know, we really appreciate you, and, and good luck on winning the gnome. Yeah, or a t-shirt. I want to win the gnome, but <laughs> is this one up for? Not yet. Not yet. We? Not yet. Uh, yeah. This is this is a prototype. It was just. Uh, conceived today <laughs> that's pretty freaking cool i like it yeah i like it a lot you like how it's carrying me and joey away too yeah I like that <laughs> you need a stick of beef jerky though <laughs> Some, i made a joke about that today and, uh, <laughs> with Jack yeah. <laughs> all right so back on our topic so the anunnaki then gave way to hybrids correct Yes and no? Yeah. it was. They were basically the first experimental people on the Earth. And like I said, it, it, it happened. They were on... They had communicated with the um, Sumerians for eight or 9,000 years. And it wasn't until the last 1,000 years that they started... Uh, they, they wanted to cleanse the Earth because... The fallen ones, the fallen angels, which were the same entities or ETs as them, and I know I hate saying aliens. Aliens, it's um, the Bible says they're angels of the Lord. I believe they're aliens. But the, the early peoples confused them and said they had wings because they were able to ascend and descend from heaven. Right. And some of them had ships and some of them didn't. So they were confused and that's where we get aliens have uh, angels having wings. I mean, there's really nothing about angels getting wings and having wings. It was it was a it was deciphered 
through the fact that they saw this and they didn't understand it. So they said, well, they have to have wings because they're flying. Well, that was just from early drawings, too. Right. What they found, like Egyptian right. artwork or whatever. And that's where they got the name angels. But they were basically angels of the Lord, which were the shining people, um, which were the ETs. They came down and gave us this technology and helped us survive. And they've done it many times. They can't do it right now because we had a treaty. <laughs> <laughs> so were the, were the Anunnaki the only, I'll, I'll say, quote, humanoids that, I mean, ones that look human? Or? The Anunnaki are the ones that came down and bred with the Sumerians to create the humanoids. Okay. The missing link. So, so when they show the depictions of the Anunnaki, though, they usually like they'll use the uh, I've seen what the face of a bird sometimes in the in the depictions of it. Right. In, in fact, um, in the early be in the earlier stages of them doing the experiments in hybrids, they they have a a tower. It's a what do you call the well the Tower of Babel? No, 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 no. 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 Which later gets into that. <laughs> yeah. How do you know that? It's a it's a black, uh, like a pyramid looking structure yeah. obelisk obelisk that was found um, in Babylon, old Mesopotamia, and researchers uncovered this thing and they kept it quiet for many 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 years because it was very controversial. It had pictures of uh, humans holding animals that had like uh, bodies of animals and heads of them I've, and they I've had seen those pictures. stitch marks mm -hmm. they had chains so they were trying to control the the beings that they were creating and it was basically just an experiment and it, it got out of control to the point where um some of the the gods the keepers of the stars were coming down and fell in love with the earth women and they were they called them giants for lack of a better word because they were just you know different beings and then that's when everything went wrong that's when they flooded the earth that's what enoch writes about that's where noah was contracted to take out the evil and separate the good and the evil and the anunnaki experimented with the sumerians the babylonians and the i can't remember the other name of them but that's that's where all of the big and and, and 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 because of that, after the flood, that's where we get the Garden of Eden. That ties in there, and I. It's you're, you're walking that thin line, aren't you? It's <laughs> Jesus was saying. Ruth also says hello. Who? Ruth. Hi, Rufus. Rufus. Not Rufus. You said Ruth. Yeah, Ruth. I always call her Rufus. Oh. <laughs> Ruth. Anybody making any comments? We're going to get any comments out there? If you have any questions, <laughs> feel free to ask these guys. <laughs> yeah, we know nothing. You're funny. <laughs> you know, Tim's got all the information. He does. But I, I, out of all the uh, different documentaries that I watched about it, the one I, I grabbed into um, to last night actually was a departure from talking about the shiny ones or any of the aliens, and it was more of just life as an Anunnaki, you know, or the, the, the lifestyle and uh, things that were going on in their lives at the time. And, and what I found super, super, super interesting is that beer. They made beer. Beer was the, the center of, of their enterprise, you know. The commodity. Um, it was a commodity that. They're uncovering breweries or things where they were all, they made beer. Yeah, because they couldn't drink how water. The beer was. Hmm? 805? Rice asked how the beer was. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yes. Properly chill. Properly chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better that way. So, um, so besides the beer, of course, the beer of the time was just barley, wheat, and right. you know, not a high alcohol content, but it was fermented. It was, though, but it was yeah. fermented, yeah, because it was um, it replaced water mm -hmm. because they couldn't drink the water. Water was used for for washing their clothes and cleaning things, and, and uh, it was contaminated. So yeah, it so it was contaminated. So water or the beer 
was consumed by everyone, you know, children and, of course, adults, mm -hmm. um, because they could drink it throughout the day uh, to hydrate themselves while working uh, in the fields and it's a building their, Red Bull. their great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess in, so, in, in a sense, it kind of has a, a little bit of a nutritional value to it. It does. You know, so. and, and they sure. say that, I'm sorry, I don't mean to say this. They say the slaves that built the pyramids, that's, that's not what happened. But the workers that live next to the pyramids, they're starting to uncover all that area. And they're starting to find many, many, many areas of beer stills where they made beer. Huh. So these guys were drinking beer every day. Yeah. Well, they couldn't drink the water. Then what else? You know, they yeah. Well, <laughs> they couldn't go down in the corner and get a Pepsi. You know. So no, <laughs> got a beer. Had beer or water. That that's that's how they kept from killing themselves because the water wasn't fit to drink. So they distilled it. And, and so here's one thing in the uh, in what I watched that you might find interesting because we had all of the the hierarchy of the Anunnaki all had their their little Satchels. things. Yeah. What if those were um, their buckets full of beer? Because that's what they were using to pay their workers. It's in so. every <laughs> recorded culture, all right? From Vietnam to uh, China to Japan to Asia, uh, the Hindu. Look, look at, just look at, all right, here. We have so much information just from hieroglyphs petroglyphs and writings and it wasn't until the internet or until you know this modern age right. that we started realizing oh wait a minute we had that too we have pictures just like that so now that we know that these people came down and interacted with us all over the earth Anunnaki is just the ones that we have gathered evidence for it's happened many many places but this is just the most credible and logical that we can ab ab we can actually document dan davidson wants to know what contaminated the water well we, it was just it was just they didn't have water treatment back then and it was you know you could drink it in the animals you know like you go to a stream stream of water yeah. has to run like 17 feet at so many cubic feet feet per second to be clean to yeah. be clean right well back then they didn't have a way to purify the water so they used the water for bathing. Uh, crops <laughs> bathing uh, laundry and stuff like that and then they used the beer to to consume it, to hydrate because it wasn't poisonous sam asked uh remain remains of giant humanoids have been found around the world throughout history um do you think this gives credit to the Anunnaki, a reason for a cover-up? Hmm. Okay. They tried Good to question. erase this history, all right? And, and this has been done many, many, many times, thousands of times that Earth has been destroyed because man has d developed technology and we've gotten over uh, confident. We've, we've destroyed ourselves. So God is, is, he's frozen the Earth, he's flooded the Earth, he's sent a comet, to and destroy the earth so one and in that destruction for that event that techn technology gets lost right well when we're ready to know to, to, to when we're ready for the information when we're educated enough to deal with it then we're going to start finding evidence of this technology and that's what we're finding we're finding giants in graves that are just huge and this confirms a lot of the stories of the nymph um, coming down and breeding with the women of the earth and they had to be destroyed so there's there's a lot of giants being found all over the world right now because of technology we're finding all of these remains of giants but it's not going to be on Fox News. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, so to go back, kind of what we talk about in the last couple episodes, we talk about up to 1947, we didn't have much for technology, and then it just kind of skyrocketed from there. So from the beginning, beginning of our teachings to 1947, why do you think it took so long to develop that technology? I mean, I know we talked about how Roswell was kind of the reset of everything, and we got the technology from them and started developing it from there. But why do you think there was such a long span 
to where we didn't develop that technology. Because I believe the reset button was hit with a flood. Everything had to be destroyed so that we couldn't screw up too fast. You know, we had to learn again. We had to evolve. And if you'd given us any of the technology that was destroyed by the flood, it would have done the same thing, destroyed us. So it goes back to what our theory we talked about was that they're really out there to help protect us from ourselves. From ourselves. So are you saying that they, they held off on giving the information to us? Yes. Until? When we're ready, we will get that, that information. Or because of the crash, they didn't have a choice. There was bound to be some sort of intervention at, at some point when we were ready. Um, they're not going to get the fiber optics out of that crash at Roswell and put it in the Walmart stores for the next week. Uh, <laughs> it's got to be something that we learn again, that we learn to, uh, to not misuse, we're responsible with. A lot of the technology that was here before it was destroyed was being used in a way that God just does not. He, he didn't he wasn't happy about well, well not to not to mention that but when you when you watch any of the videos or any of the stories with bob lazar you know and, and how he was involved directly with the alien craft and what came out of that you got to imagine seeing this technology for the first time probably scared the shit out of people you know oh, it what, does. The things that they saw you Listen, know they're like what there, is this there are things right now that 20 years ago we we discovered that we still can't know we're just not ready for it right um when the earth was destroyed by the flood it was destroyed to the point where we couldn't just find it right after the water drained it's going to take years and years and years and years and years to rediscover this technology so that we can confirm that technology has has been much much greater than it is now at one time there was technology on the earth that supersedes anything we know today, and it was destroyed. So we'll, we will regain technology to the point that we need it. If it gets out of control and it goes wrong, then we get reset again. But the Roswell crash was, I believe, on purpose to a point. I believe we were able to um, decipher and re-engineer and learn about minerals and elements and and things that we need to help us progress but baby steps jason wants to know who whom or what is responsible for hitting the reset button that would be the keeper of the stars that would be god the almighty the almighty and that's that's because of the sumerians and because of the anunnaki that's where that information was given to the Egyptians. That's where we became a monolithic, believing in a monolithic God versus many, many, many gods. Because there were many gods here, but they were they were entities. They were uh, aliens from other planets, and it got kind of chaotic and out of control. And they were fighting for power, and God said, "Restart." So it got restarted. So He will give us. Uh, information and technology as we need it or let us discover it as we need right. it but he still has his heavenly angels that watch over us and guard us and protect us and teach us and some people have a talent to communicate with them or understand the the spiritualism of it and some people don't and that's fine but we're basically you're not going to give it you're not going to be given any information that you don't need and that's where you come into the conscious superconscious and subconscious and there's like only so much that you're allowed to know and only so much i'm allowed to know right. because the way we can handle it the first experiments was let's give this knowledge to the people on earth and it just that was that was wrong yeah you know, and it, that leads to the tower of babel once the people believed that they were as as strong and as good as God, they started constructing a tower, Tower of Babel, to reach the heavens because they wanted to be at one with God. 
And God got very angry, and he told them not to, and he punished them by giving them all different languages. So they weren't able to communicate, communicate. so they weren't able to do the tower. Now, over a period of years after that, this person over here understood this person. This person over here understood this person. So all these languages that were confused, these different groups of people started getting together going, oh, yeah, I understand you, and right. I understand you, but I don't understand them. So all these different groups of people that started to understand each other formed their own opinion as of what happened. And basically the word religion is not in the Bible. So what we have now is we have these different cultures and these different people all believing in God through their interpretation. Their, yeah, their own interpretation. Yeah. yeah, some of them thought, oh, it was the, the tower that did it. The tower got angry. Some people said, it, oh, it was the sun. Some people said it was the earth. Some people said it was the moon. Some people, So they all have their different interpretations of why God, God got mad and destroyed all this. Okay, up until then, you didn't have all these people believing in different ways. Right. They all believed this way, and God had to stop that. So... And you'll find this very interesting. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible, right? When Jesus returns to his apostles before he ascends to heaven after he was crucified, he reappears to the apostles, and he, he gives them um, he, he gives them orders, or, or uh, um, he says, "Go throughout the word and teach my name and teach right, this right. and through me." And then he said, "Let everyone that hears your voice that." learns through me be blessed but right before he ascended back he said i pray this prayer and you can you can look at this it says father bless those who believe in me but also bless those who believe in me through their own word okay now that's very important okay it's very important because I was brought up Pentecostal, Holy Roller, Assembly of God, and everything, and I was taught my way was the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, I have friends that were Catholic. I have friends that were Baptist. I have friends with, that were all over, you know, there are many, many, many different beliefs at, at, into God. Jesus said, bless those who believe in me, but also bless those who believe in me through their own words. So basically, the way you've been taught, if it's through Jesus and it's to the God that we're talking about, you're, right. you're blessed. So basically, we didn't have religion. The word religion is not in the Bible. But we didn't have all these different beliefs until the Tower of Babel. And the Sumerians, and then you've got the Babylonians, and then you've got the, uh, I can't remember the other ones. They were just in Mesopotamia. There were just a few people on, on the planet in yeah. that area. And that's that's how it spread. You know, we got the Egyptians, we got the the Hindus, we got um, every every form of religion expanded in, in different ways. But that never happened until the Tower of Babel. Hmm. And so I find that interesting. And so, you know what? If you believe in God the way you've been taught, you're blessed. And I think that's what. I, th I think that's what Jesus said when he, when he prayed before he left. He goes, bless those who believe in me, but bless those who believe in me the way they believe in me. The way they, 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 they want to, yeah. yeah. So I think we don't need to port, point fingers at each other and say, I'm right, you're wrong, or whatever. We need to love each other and all believe in God and just agree on the same goal. We can't hug it out, though, because <laughs> the virus is still around. <laughs> Would you guys like to pray? <laughs> no, right. I meditate. <laughs> um, it, 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 you kind of lose me when you get into the uh, religious part well, of it. Because I, I, I'm, I'm not totally, a religious person. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, well, I mean, when you bring the whole Bible and well, all that into it, it, what, what, it you, you lose me on it. Well, I, so. I brought in Enoch, which was mm. condemned from the Bible, but his writings were right on line. I mean, a lot of this stuff makes sense, and we have. We have proven a lot of his writings. We have we found things. And the, the, do you know about the um, the copper the Dead Sea Scrolls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you know about the copper plates? I've mm -hmm. heard of them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's fact. 
Okay, there are stories in those copper plates and in these scrolls that confirm everything everybody wants to believe through their way. Mm -hmm. Like if you, if you tell this to this person, like, yeah, I believe that. I, I understand that. I believe that happened. Well, that person over there can say that too, even though the religions are different. You have to agree that that's fact. We can agree on that. Are so, they coming to get you? <laughs> Flying over. <laughs> Allison Rice says to pinch him. I just did. Yeah. Pinch me. <laughs> pinch him. All right. So, Why, so, so yeah, it, we're spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. We are spiritual beings. Um, so I, I want to go back real quick. So, you know, we talk about the earth being destroyed. Okay. So we just talked last week about doing an episode on Atlantis. And we talked about it being in Antarctica. So, does that mean the Ice Age was part of that destruction too? And now it's now that it's undoing itself, we're starting to find these things. Exactly. And, okay. And Plato writes about it. He, he writes about the whole destruction of the Earth and how there was a submerged island. That's what they call it. I mean, there's actually two islands. I don't I don't remember what the other one is, but the Garden of Eden, as we have learned in the Bible, is probably underwater today. Um, but Atlantis was a city where the, the, the angels of the Lord and the humans all lived together. And it was frozen. It was, it was destroyed. And we are starting to find, as the ice thaws, we're starting to find technology that we do not understand. And I mean, I mean, how clear can that be? I mean, there's there's pyramids, there's structures, there's everything. They said this thing has been covered by ice for you know eighty thousand years, like seven miles of ice. Well, hell, we can do a whole episode on pyramids, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, there are pyramids sure. all over the world yeah. too. But I don't know. You, every every culture has an uh, um, it's kind of quiet. their belief yeah, in their quiet. writings as to what happened. And I'm not saying I believe any one of them. I'm just saying this is right. this is this is his, this is what history teaches. It's up to us to form our own opinions, right. Right. and that's why I'm no longer religious. I'm spiritual because I don't believe that I have to believe in a religion to achieve spiritualism. Right. No yeah. offense to religion; it's a stepping stone to spiritualism. It's yes. great. See, people, I mean, you, people then, then we're on the same way. Yeah, yeah, people mind, do yeah. need it. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think. I have to be religious in order to obtain that spiritualism. All right, we got to have some other questions out mm -hmm. there. Anybody any questions? No, mm -hmm. no new questions. Wow. So don't forget, you guys are watching right now. Please go to our YouTube page and subscribe. Please. Next, next twenty-five, you can get into a drawing for a T-shirt. We'd love to give the T-shirt away. It's been a couple of weeks now. Yeah. And then uh, if you're in the first hundred, get put in for a drawing for the zombie gnome. So. What? Tell them about next week. What are we doing Saturday? We're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that plan got foiled. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have like three kids. Not, not because person. of you. Uh, no. Good. Good. No, it's because you can blame it on me. It's because of the virus. Three of my kids have the same birthday. So, so. wow. 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 I'll let's say that three times, right? Like, <laughs> three of my kids have the same, same birthday. Times, the same time every year. Or? Or there's more to that story. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't go there. <laughs> but anyway, we yeah, I'd like. You want to talk about that? About what we plan on doing, or? Well, eventually we plan on doing. Okay. Or have we talked about it being live, or? We would. We would go live with it. So what we're talking about is doing another investigation, and we were going to go to um, back to Oracle, to the uh, tuberculosis hospital. But apparently they're not allowing any uh, tours through there right now because of the virus. So, <laughs> it's so we, will, we will get there. Right? <laughs> I, I know it's kind of, <laughs> and uh, it's yeah, yeah. Jason said we have technology that cannot be released for many years. Now, does the reset happen before that happens? Well, the, that's that's this is a, that's a very good question this is where the mayan calendar comes in because the mayans were told and given the the technology and they were the ones that 
we go by their calendar that's why we have an existing calendar they were right right up until a few seconds and leap year they did they discovered they engineered all of these and the minds were given all this information and they there were there's four Lord have mercy. <laughs> We're in the seventh, <laughs> fourth econ, whatever. So in 2012, uh, remember December 12th? Oh, yeah. All hell was going to break loose. They said. They made a movie about it. We said it was going to be <laughs> the end of the world. But right. that's, not what the, that's not what the Mayans said. The, the Mayans were saying it's a beginning of releasing new technology to the new world that we will be discovering things that we never knew and that wasn't going to happen until 2012 and if you ask me i think it's happening i mean we've got more technology since 2012 than we did yep. since 1947 it's true it's true yep so you think the so going going on to the mayans keeping on the mayans for I a love second the mayans. do you think they were hybrids is that why they disappeared? Yeah, they they were all taken back. They served their purpose on the earth. They helped us, and because they just disappeared, nobody knows. There's why. no, there's no clue, or there's no trace of them. So they were a hybrid uh, tribe living on the earth, and when the deed was, or when their missions were done, and when God decided to pull them back, He pulled them all back, because you you cannot find a bone. Uh, burial ground for eight million tribal people that lived in one area area in, right in South America that disappeared it's just that doesn't make sense um, the Mayan were given technology from Teotihuacan right Teotihuacan All right. and they were given knowledge and everything but that was while they were here so we're, we're on the planet for a short time because of a reason and then after it either it either all goes wrong or it gets to where it needs to be then there's a reset button john yeah. felon wants to know i know people at boeing that have claimed that they have tech that will be released over the next 50 years and they can't release it all at once there's a lot of stuff that's going to be released in 20 or 50 years but if we knew it now it would bl it would destroy the earth as we it, it caused a panic we're no. not ready for it yeah they have tele commute they have you said it last time teletransportation yeah like Star they, Trek. they do they do <laughs> they do they, and there's so much more we have we have uh, technology. We have frequency, uh, laser optics, nanotech. Nanotechnology wasn't talked about like five years ago. Nanotechnology is scary. N it is it's scary. scary just what they've done with it. What they've let us know that they've done right, with it. Yeah, There's exactly. so much more they've done with it that we just aren't prepared for. It. Right. Hmm. You have to get us some of those secrets, John. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> Hook us up. I have, I have a security. I have a need to know. I have a TS3. If you want to talk, man, let's talk. <laughs> so, you know, we, we talked about the Giants. And Joey brought up a point, I think, in our 202 episode. We talked about how a lot of the pyramids, especially the Mayan pyramids, how they have those giant steps on them going up remember we were talking about that a little bit when we started talking about the anunnaki um yeah oh actually those were the picture that i saw and i wish i remember where i pulled that up from but it was it was south america where, where these were and there were little tiny stairs that went up the sides and then there were like 10 foot uh yeah yeah steps yeah. <laughs> that everybody's standing on and you know of course they can't even reach up grab to, onto it yeah. Yeah. yeah and we find that in every culture from the Mayans to uh, Asia, everywhere we find these pyramids with huge things that we don't understand that are interpreted as, as steps for people that were absolutely like in Japan, we've got an underground step system that is just humongous. It was never built for a human. Right. But it was it was destroyed and hidden and it will be released and learned about as we need to know. Well, it's an interesting theory that, you know, the Egyptian pyramids, I think I watched a special number of years back where they said the pyramids were made specifically so they pointed to the heavens, they pointed to the stars. Yes, and that's where the design came from. They're aligned with Orion's but. belt, and that's where they believe that um, the star children came from. John asked, but isn't nanotech 
going to fill the gap of what we can't do illegally with the stem cell? Hmm. This is what we know now. Things are going to change. What you know now is what you need to know now. What we will eventually be introduced to will be stuff that we're not prepared for, we can't handle now. So nanotechnology is just, we're finding, like, you know, Hansel and Gretel, they, they drop breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> they're leaving, they're leading us to a bigger and better technological experience, but we can't handle that right now. Yeah. Nanotechnology is basically, um, what do you call it? English 101. It's just the beginning of what we're about to discover. Yeah, but will we reach a point where it would, the nanotechnology where it goes too far because if we, it does the earth will be a short again i mean look what we've done so far with cloning i mean well, <laughs> we, we talk about that and my my problem right now in the in the world is the uh nano the collider uh them trying to recreate the the god particle the big bang and that's a lot of stuff that we shouldn't be messing around with but they know more than we do, but I just hope it doesn't get out of control because it's happened before. Right. But trying to recreate the Big Bang and recreate the God particle, as they say, that's something they're trying to do because once they do, they can control everything. Technology uh, we will be in a whole much different level of technology. Well, they're already on that path. Everything is robotic. We're right. going to be replaced by robots anyway. We are. And they're going to learn. I don't know. I mean, we could we could destroy ourselves. You know, even through a virus, which we shouldn't be messing around with with bats, mm -hmm. or tech, nanotechnology, where we're te teletransporting and we're we're trying to split atoms by crashing them into each other. There's a lot of things that we can do to help our technology and, and help our world go on. What's wrong with that? Nothing bad ever came from splitting an atom. <laughs> Brian McCormick asked, how can they use this to brew chocolate stout? <laughs> mm, we tried to find some chocolate stout. Oh, <laughs> Brian. So you need this <laughs> we do try to find some chocolate stout. <laughs> he's going to drink it anyways. <laughs> and I'll drink it anyways, exactly. <laughs> How's good, Brian? A little, little inside joke there. <laughs> But it, it's just like, I mean, the technology we have on this planet right now, it's so amazing to know that in 19, before 1947, we didn't have it. But 8,400,000 8, years ago, we still had beer. <laughs> yeah. We, had, we know that. Thing. That's a good thing. So it's gotten a lot better since then, but <laughs> we didn't have electricity. We didn't have a battery. Well, actually, the the Egyptians had batteries, but that's the whole other story. Yeah, but everybody had beer. So I know we're gonna wrap it up soon, but touch touch a little bit on the uh, uh, the onks that we wanted to talk about. You were you had brought it up last time, and we said we we're gonna talk about it. So what's the the the, the onk was a um. It was a device of knowledge that was handed to humans. The original onks had the ability to uh, control things, like you know how they lifted stones, mm -hmm. okay? And it, you can you can go back and look in, in history of all these these things they're holding and they're levitating and they're using these things to 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 create. Um, after the technology of the onk was stopped we have still used it as a symbol of what we had so an onk is very powerful and very spiritual and it was a technological gift given to us and at one time it could be used it can't be used anymore but it's still a symbol of what we had at the time that were given to us by the start was it given to the uh, the egyptians is that who it was had given, it or? yeah on an uh, akhenaten. akhenaten if you look at the the Per, uh, petroglyphs and hieroglyphs and everything of Akhenaten when he uh, announced that there was only a monolithic god. If you look at the beams coming out of the, the sun's disk, what they call, at the end of it there's little onks on all of the end of these things. These are all different, it's like encyclopedias. All of these had different information that was given to us. And they were 
translated to this through Insta these books. Sorry about that. Um, Instagram is about to end in 30 seconds. Bye, Instagram. <laughs> See you guys. You Thanks for joining it, us. Right? Yeah, you can restart it if you want, if we're going to continue. So, <laughs> Any more questions coming in? No? Mm -hmm. well, I think we're uh, coming up with ideas for future episodes. That's yeah. Really, like full episodes. Wait, that always happens. Yeah. Typically. We have to do a, um, Atlantis. I think that would be interesting. Let's do our mm -hmm. homework and get some information up here. You guys will be blown away at some of the stuff they're finding. I know Jason last time said mentioned something about the Philadelphia experiment. That'd be mm -hmm. a great one to do. Yeah. You know, so that would so be if you guys awesome. have some ideas, shoot us some ideas for yeah, what do you want to hear? episodes. So we have more paranormal stuff coming up. We got some more investigations coming down the pipe. And if you've had any experiences with UFOs or aliens or beings or anything like that, don't be afraid to, you know, just say something and a ask questions and you know we'll we'll delve we'll dive into that that subject we'll yeah, do a little yeah. bit of um research and find out about your experience how many people are on facebook right now you have 12. all right so give us a thumbs up if you guys want us to keep doing these live broadcasts once a week give us, give, give us some thumbs up Did see you? some you're I gave you a heart and a love. There's a heart and a love. I like it. A shocking voice. So sweet. Michelle gave you a love. We need an alien. <laughs> oh, wow. That'd be cool if there was an alien. Whoa. Yeah. You got an alien emoji. Someone sent you an alien That's emoji. That's really cool. That's awesome. Holy awesome. oh, crap, John's going crazy. Yep. <laughs> John, John wants them. We'll there keep we doing go. it for you, John. I think we're going to continue it anyway, so. Well, we'll keep doing these once a week. We'll come up with different topics. And, uh, They're going crazy. Yes, anyways, they are. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. That's a unanimous yes. All I right. guess that works until the band starts playing again, right? If the band starts <laughs> playing again. <laughs> Funny stuff. And if you guys have ideas for future shows. Absolutely. Yes. Send, them, send them through to us. If you haven't done so already, which I know I sound like a broken record, but go subscribe. We're anxious to give away a T-shirt and a zombie gnome. Yeah, and, and there'll be more giveaways in the future. As the numbers climb mm. up, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, so. And, and, and our gnome collection will continue to grow. It's going to grow. Come grow. up with so new uh, need, topics, right? We need subscribers to get rid of all these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. I don't want them to go anywhere. No, I like them. I like them. <laughs> I'm going to collect the whole set. <laughs> Why not? So, also, if you have uh, an idea of about a beer an alien beer or a paranormal <laughs> beer or a ghost beer or something to do with the topic yeah let us know we'd like to try it out yeah we're running out of ideas here so for beer <laughs> well it, it's not so much that right now it's hard to find yeah, I, I just, yeah. right now all out there is zombie really yeah there's really not a lot of ain't aliens oh, you should have grabbed the zombie one <laughs> next time next time you can do zombie one I didn't know they had a zombie. We did. Uh, There's got to be a beer called Atlantis. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, that would that'd be, be cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. We did a uh, Dead Guy L for our zombie episode. That was cool. That was really good. And stuff I've seen too. that. I, I know all the Instagram guys are gone, but I, I've seen it posted on an Instagram several times at Dead Guy L since we since we did it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Awesome. That was Stone Brewery, wasn't it? Stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Restarted, yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, so we're back Welcome on Instagram. Back Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are still with us. Thank you for joining in tonight. We really appreciate it. We have um, almost seventeen hundred followers on Instagram, so it's very important to reach out to them. Mm -hmm. So, but if all seventeen hundred would subscribe to our YouTube channel, that would be amazing. We know you're not doing anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, yeah, we could be uh, broadcasting from YouTube right now. Yep, if we had yeah, all those subscribers. Yeah, we'd love to be able to do that. So our goal is a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends, but yeah. Share with your friends and family. Well, everybody's social distancing, which we are not. But <laughs> I keep leaning away. I, I know. John says he's having a live viewing party. Right now? Of what? Of you. Of us. Oh, that's us. friggin' awesome. Hi, guys. Thank you, John. I hope Tell you them to have everybody subscribe in the house. Have everybody subscribe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks a for subscribing the party. party. That's cool. Everybody say hi to Lindsay. She doesn't have a mic, but you can hear her. Hello, Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> of course you can hear me. <laughs> All right, so we drinking more beer? We can do another one. What else what's the, what else do we want to talk about? Let's go ahead. No. Dive in. <laughs>
We should. We really didn't touch on the hybrids a whole lot. We might no, right, right. want to yeah, touch no, on them a little bit. We we can we can touch on it. I've seen one. My tell wife gets so mad at me every time I tell this story. Why don't you tell that story? Yeah. Thank you. I'll pass it down. Take, Take one, pass one down, it down, pass it down. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ryan like says hi, Lindsay. Hi, Ryan. There's uh, other beers in there if you want a beer. From uh, I just hours Barrio. Away. Then you should be wanting <laughs> 10 beers. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, so so if you haven't seen episode uh, two hundred seven, you didn't get to hear Tim's story. Yeah, so go check that out and subscribe. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on it yeah. after you watch it. I'll touch on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tease you. Go watch there. it. Go yeah. watch it. You have questions, and we'll talk about it. Actually, I have a feeling the people that are on right now have already seen it. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> so. Probably so. So, so you saw a hybrid. Yes, I did. And honey, would you just uh, chime in there and comment and tell them I'm not crazy that <laughs> this really happened? I don't know. She keeps saying to pinch you. I don't know. I know. Pinch I did me. pinch him. He did. She Twice. did. It didn't change anything. <laughs> but honey, I, I just confirm that this actually happened. Like, all you're, right. Just give a chance to type. <laughs> all right. Just, just, behind. just let them Ten know seconds, man. that this was an actual encounter. You really, really, really don't understand what you had come in contact with, and your thoughts are, it's very strange. Allison said, you are crazy. So <laughs> <laughs> Neil wouldn't get that nothing, out of her. Nothing like that support there. No. True Good story, job. though. Good it did job, happen. If everyone would uh, just get a hold of Allison right now and ask her to tell the real story. <laughs> Don't put her on the spot or anything. I'm gonna put you on the spot until you confirm this happened. Anyway, it was it was very 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 cool. It was like a turning point for me. In a lot of ways, I mean, it's it's. I could I could actually sleep at night because now I know. John says Wendy wants to know in advance what beer you guys are drinking so we all can join in. Is that the info out there? Oh, that'd be awesome. Unfortunately, we know about 10 minutes before we start the episode what beer we're drinking. <laughs> so. Whatever's available at the store. <laughs> Until they actually start stocking up again. But like I said, if you guys have an idea, let Make us a know. suggestion. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drink it. We'll uh, post it that we're going to do the show and you need to go pick up a six pack of the beer that we're going to be drinking so we can all drink together yeah we can do that we'll take social drinking matter of fact we'll make it like a like a fan favorite on on a there you go. live episode there you go. we'll feature a fan favorite i like that I idea like that idea it's a good idea so send in your beers let us know honey just say i was right <laughs> she's not going she just to said, okay it was strange <laughs> oh it was strange okay it's strange okay it was strange all right, so she's not saying I'm oh, out of my mind or it would just, it was strange. <laughs> okay. It was very, very strange. And, and that's one of the, that's, that's why I know she can't argue with me when I tell the story. I know she can't say, oh, you're dumb or whatever, you're crazy. Because she experienced. Well, what's that? That's Caesar. <laughs> oh, are you scratching? <laughs> no, he's shaking his legs, so he's shaking the mic as he's going. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he's scratching. <laughs> Honey, thanks for the support. Oh, oh I should put this in. <laughs> um, John says he's drinking Murphy's Law Chocolate Stout. Nice. Mm. Nice. Wow. I have never tried that So one. Brian must be with him. That's why he made the chocolate comment. No, that's probably what ah. Okay. So there's the watch so, party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell him we were looking for chocolate at all? No, no. Oh, that's no. funny. Hey, I'll tell you the I'll tell you the inside story. Okay. Allison this. said I'm married to him and I have to live with him. Remember? <laughs> She's no help at all. <laughs> I say we feel bad, but we love Tim. <laughs> so well, you know what? If we were all like sitting around a dinner table and having a few drinks, she would tell you honestly what really, really happened. But I don't want to put her on the spot anymore. So, honey, you don't have to say anything else. <laughs> We believe you though. Yeah. But it was just incredible. It was incredible. That's that's that was life changing and now I know who and what hybrids are and why they're here and their purpose and they're here to help us and protect us and teach us and look over us and they're fantastic. But was that their original intention though? The original intention of the hybrids I thought was to mine gold. 
All right. Was that? All right. So the original intention of the, the the star people were to come down. All right. See, so Earth has a commodity that is very ins- very important throughout the universe, and it's called gold. A lot of planets that we have been, you know, researching and everything, they have like uh, methyl meth. They have a lot of chemicals and a lot of stuff like that, but nothing has gold. Right. Right. Earth is very unique as to its gold content. So they believe that when the people of the stars uh, discovered the gold on the Earth, they came down, they rebred the seven human species that were on Earth Homo erectus, Homo sapien, Homo. Go look them up. There's seven. One, ex- one, only one survived. And when they bred the the um, the Neanderthals and the the beings that were on Earth, they bred them to mine the gold for their their ships and their purpose. And over a period of time, different aliens came down and uh, interacted with the sla- the slaves that were mining the gold. And they rejected that. They said, we're not doing that anymore. So it just went haywire. And Earth was like a, a big Petri dish. And all these different species of aliens are coming down here and, and doing experiments and, and studying and everything. And so it got a little out of control and it had to be stopped. But yes, the original intention was to mine the gold from the Earth. And they used the Homo sapien sapien, or the Homo, I'm sorry, the uh, Neanderthal to do that. And through different genetic experimentation, wiped out all of them except for the um, sapien sapien. sapien, sapien. And of course, Bigfoot survived. He did survive. (laughs) So he'd be Neanderthal, (laughs) wouldn't he? Yeah. He's got a purpose. That's a whole different episode. But I mean, I'm, I, I'm not making this up. Just go do your research. That's all I'm asking you. Don't believe what I'm saying. Go do your research. It's there. Technology and historians and scientists have gotten so good at uncovering all of this technology now. And it's there. It's not going to be forced upon you. It's not going to be available in National Enquirer mm-hmm. or Fox News. But the information is there so you go check it out on your own and you do your own research and you come up with your own conclusions i've done a lot of that i'm not here to to convince anybody or preach this but i'm telling you if you want to learn it and if if you want to understand it it's there to be understood and be careful what you ask for because there's a lot of information there that you're just not going to be ready for ready for so s- baby steps watching but yes it's all there <laughs> just go there's a movie on um amazon video if you have amazon prime prime Am- mm-hmm. video it says anunnaki there's, there's a whole program on there's Anunnaki. a believe it or not there's a lot of shows on there's anunnaki. a lot of shows there's a anunnaki. lot to find yeah. right yep that's why that's why you know when you when you say how much do you know there's so much information. You can't remember it all. I mean, it's just, I, it's really intense. I have, I've encountered so much more than I can remember and so much more than I can talk about. Some of it I've taken with a grain of salt. And, and that's, that's what you guys got to do. You got to just, you know, use your own judgment. But when you, when you get signed, scientific fact and then you get hypothesis and you get theories, um, that's going to all pieces come of everything, together. yeah. Right. Yeah. So you you have to filter out the theory and the and the fiction and go with the fact. And if if you can study on the fact and what they've discovered and the things that are actually documented, it'll blow your mind. I'm not a, you don't need to do that. If if you want another if you want a hobby, go study the Anunnaki. If you don't want a hobby, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> it's 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 incredible and it's time it's, consuming. It's all. Uh, it is very time consuming. There's a lot of information, but it's all based on. They can just prove just about everything that's written. It's amazing. What were you gonna say, Joey? I know you're gonna say something. No. Oh. <laughs> L- 
check into Jeremiah Sitchin. Yeah. He's the one that... Zachariah. Zachariah Sitchin. Zachariah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Zachariah Sitchin. If you're familiar with him, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, just go um, do some research on Zechariah. He's the one that um, translated all this information that we could understand it, and it's very, very interesting. By the way, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to watch episode 208 because we got uh, Wendy's uh, UFO story. Oh, yeah. Today. Oh, sweet. So it's it pretty good. <laughs> Can't well, wait for that. Might have kind of intertwined with the... Uh, uh, paranormal a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything kind of fits yeah, together. It all fits so. together. Yeah. There's an interesting story, though. You'll like it. Mm-hmm. So, you have to watch 208. Fantastic. 208. I was curious, though. Did, did we uh, show Shay what to do? With the ending? Yeah. Yes. She knows. Oh, okay. I'm smart. I she knows. Oh, okay. I'm excited. I know you are. I just remember we were showing Caesar earlier. I was the and person so. to learn in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I had to double teach it, so. All right. Yeah. So, oh. so what about the lights from this week? I missed them, um, dang it. There were 17, they're saying, 17 lights up in the sky. They, um, some with satellites or something they were saying? Or oh, that's one thing sure. I heard. What? I'm sorry, this is what you get from having a daycare teacher back here. <laughs> I've got a baby shark in my head. Are you guys singing songs, or what are you doing? Yeah. Oh. Looks like she said, snap a picture. I don't know. <laughs> baby shark. Oh, really? You can go on there? Baby shark. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Phoenix lights. Do, next, do, do, do. next time we do this, we're going to have a camera on whoever's helping oh, us please. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching myself. John asked us. If you can see their expressions when I say things, and they're like, I'm very interested. From what I'm saying, I, yeah, I've never, I didn't really think I would be so fascinated, but I'm over here trying to like watch the comments and also watch you. From cool. from what I've heard of the lights this week, they've been saying it's satellites. There were 17 satellites or something like that. Well, that's what they have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe anything you hear at all. Well, it was seen in three different states, I believe. It was seen here, it was seen in Utah, and I've seen Nevada as well. So, I've so they would have to be pretty darn high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or the yeah. satellites yeah. being launched? I, I don't know. I just or read briefly on it, and I kind of just shut it off. They got coronavirus, <laughs> and they're falling out of the sky. <laughs> falling out of the sky. <laughs> hey, that happened on The Walking Dead, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it did. Sorry, I had to make a Walking Dead uh, reference there. Which brings up the zombie gnome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the zombie gnome. 100 subscriptions. I didn't even look to see where we were at. But <laughs> yeah, we'll have to check that again. To check that out. If you hadn't subscribed, go subscribe. Oh, well, he's gonna go look right now. I'm gonna look at it right now, just to see. See how many more spots we have open. <laughs> We're up to eighty-five. Well, but then there's only fifteen more available. Fifteen more available. All right, Hurry we guys. can do this. Come on, we, we got can do this. that tonight. We got this. Yeah. Fifteen uh, is nothing. Everyone, go hit subscribe right now. <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. blow this thing out of the park. <laughs> we have anybody on Instagram? Mm-mm. No. Instagram's mm-hmm. quiet. They probably got Once it shut, off. shut off before <laughs> yeah, they're all like, yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're back. That kind of sucks that they shut you off in an hour, but yeah. oh well. That's why we love Facebook so much. Plus, we can put the cool graphic behind us. Yes, that we can do, too. The only thing we can't do is go back and edit and show all the... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like that. The way you guys did that was incredible. What the editing? And stuff? Yeah, when I would talk about something, you would pull it up like out of an encyclopedia yeah. and show. Well, we're we're, that we're really see if you could have my wife up here going. Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, we're we're learning this program a little bit more, and um, you can actually do that with this program. All right, cool. So the people that are helping us out have the ability to do that. All right. So, and. I'm not going to give it out this week, but we did get a Google Voice phone number, so we're going to be able to start taking phone calls. Eight six seven five three zero one. That's what John. No, did we really? That's what John said last. Yeah, we did. We have, we have a Google right, number so now. So you guys are going to be able to call in. They'll we'll be able to call in. We have to have a call screener though. So yeah. and my wife's know, not allowed to call for all the drunk people that are going to call us. <laughs> but we'll probably post that next week. So, so we'll, we'll let you know what kind of beer. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Lisa? 
Well, Lisa's saying hello to Vicky, so that must mean Vicky's on. <laughs> They're drinking 805. So, yeah, we, we've got a lot of different topics we can cover on the We can go mm-hmm. anywhere. Yeah. It's a big planet. But we want, I want suggestions from the audience, though. I definitely want suggestions from them. And if anybody's ever had a paranormal experience or UFO experience, let us know. Because we'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll even get you on the phone. We'll, we'll get, get you on the phone. We'll talk, talk about, about it. it. be a lot of fun. I think maybe we, we, yeah. should, we should call Wendy one night and get her to tell, her, <laughs> yeah, tell the UFO that. story. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, so. yeah we have the, the ability to call people right now right. and put them on. Right. But for people to call, to call us. us but we well, they can if I give them my number, but they're not, I'm not giving them my number. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have our own number now, so we'll go ahead and next week we'll put that up. And So nothing next week? We're, we're talking about... We're gonna do a live one next week mm-hmm. for sure. Okay. I'm not but able to be. I know you're not. Here. You're not here. But the but following week, I will be watching be at home, in spirit. So we'll have to come up with a topic for when you come back the following week. They're gonna talk about me next week. <laughs> so <laughs> while I'm gone. So you got two weeks, and we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll talk about Atlantis in two weeks. How's that? You want to do Atlantis? Okay, we, let's do Atlantis. We can't do the 25th. We're, that's Whatever. That's that next right? week. All right. The one after that. Atlantis? Yeah. 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 All right. Is that enough time? Sounds good to me. Well, I got to go there now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go and come back. I gotta go and come it. back, so I know what I'm talking about. Didn't we take pictures? My wife didn't back me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so shall we have her hit it? That's been the truth about beer. <laughs> that's been the truth about beer. And the Anunnaki and hybrids. And hybrids. Well, until next it time, work, it'll work. All right. Well, there's plenty of it, so I was gonna. We'll see you guys next week. Next week. Yes, next week. Cheers. Cheers. I don't hear it though. I can see it. I can see it, so I can play. (laughs) I put the music behind it myself. Welcome to the truth about beer. Mm. It's on. It's on. The music is. I've got it playing back through oh, here. Cool. <laughs> Are we still live? Yeah. <laughs> it's the ending credits. There, you go. there we go. Mm-hmm. Gotta do that. Boom. Kaboom! Yeah. See, that's it. Say goodbye. Oh.